Last night's Democratic debate, 10 more candidates taking the stage, going head to head on health care, the economy and immigration and targeting frontrunner Joe Biden. ABC's Mary Bruce has the breakout moments from Miami. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Amy. Well, there is no question this was a fiery debate as the early frontrunner Joe Biden went into the night with a target on his back and he was forced to defend his record over and over again. But it was Senator Kamala Harris who dominated the night and has it had its most defining moments. Senator Biden. In his first words, Joe Biden tried to make it a night about the president. Donald Trump thinks Wall Street built America. Ordinary middle class Americans built America. But for Biden's Democratic rivals, it was a night to take on the early frontrunner. Time to pass the torch. The former VP put on the defensive. I'm still holding on to that torch. A shouting match erupting on stage. Part of Joe's generation. And then Senator Kamala Harris stepped in. America does not want to witness a food fight. They want to know how we're going to put food on their table. It was clear the former California Attorney General came ready to play. In the most dramatic moment of the night, she called out Biden's record on race, taking him to task for touting his ability to get things done, even with segregationist senators. I do not believe you are a racist. And I agree with you when you commit yourself to the importance of finding common ground. But I also believe, and it's personal, and I was actually very, it was hurtful, to hear you talk about the reputations of two United States senators who built their reputations and career on the segregation of race in this country. You mischaracterized my position across the board. I did not praise racist. That is not true. Piling on, she took on Biden's and opposition in the 70s that, to federally ordered busing in order to integrate public schools. And she made it personal. And, you know, there was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. Moments later, her campaign tweeting out this photo of a young Harris. Biden forced to clarify. Vice President Biden, do you agree today, do you agree today that you were wrong to oppose busing in America then? No, do you agree? I did not oppose busing in America. What I opposed is busing ordered by the Department of Education. That's what I oppose. Your city council made that decision. It was a so local that's decision. Where the federal Rattling off his accomplishments advocating for civil rights before stepping back as the clock ran down. I'm the guy that extended the Voting Rights Act for 25 years. We got to the place where we got 98 out of 98 votes in the United States Senate doing it. I've also argued very strongly that we, in fact, deal with the notion of denying people access to the ballot box. I agree that everybody, once they, in fact, they should, anyway, my time's up. I'm sorry. On the topic of race, South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg with a blunt admission when pressed about why his hometown police force isn't more diverse. Because I couldn't get it done. The mayor's campaign recently right sidelined by a deadly officer, officer shooting, shooting that has sparked outrage man, in his town's black community. Thing. He didn't have his body camera on. It's a mess and we're hurting. But it was this moment from the mayor taking on Republicans the over the crisis religion, at the border religion, and invoking religion in the process that took off online. And for a party that associates itself with Christianity, to say that it is okay to suggest that God would smile on the division of families at the hands of federal agents, that God would condone putting children in cages, has lost all claim to ever use religious language again. On immigration, a united front against the president. On day one, we take out our executive order pen and we rescind every damn thing on this issue that Trump has done. Absolutely. Now, Amy Biden took hits last night from every direction, facing tough questions, not only on his record on race, but also on immigration and health care, even on reaching across the aisle. At one point, he was blasted by fellow moderate Senator Michael Bennett for working with Mitch McConnell and Republicans. Amy, Joe Biden has been arguing that his record is an asset, but last night it was also a liability. Yeah, he certainly had a target on his back. Mary, thanks so much. And the debate trending big online overnight. Let's take a look at the breakout moments and who topped the night. Before the debate, Bernie Sanders was the most searched candidate on Google. All that blue you're seeing there 
after the debate, Harris was number one. You see all that yellow covering 37 states. And then take a look at this, a huge surge of tweets about busing when Harris confronted Joe Biden about his stance on the use of buses to end school segregation in the 1970s. That was also one of the top three most tweeted about moments of the entire night. Number two, when the candidate shared the first thing they would do as president. And then number three, once again, belonging to Harris when she broke up a shouting match with that line, America does not want to witness a food fight. They want to know how we're going to put food on their table. That is the debate on social media. One of the things we're going to see is how does it affect the voters who are watching at home. Also want to get some more analysis now from Mary and John. And Mary, let me begin with you. Clearly, Kamala Harris had a big night last night, showed command on that stage, that encounter with Joe Biden, the biggest takeaway of the night for most people. How are the campaigns dealing with it behind the scenes? Well, George, Kamala Harris's campaign this morning is certainly riding high. She didn't just have one breakout moment. She had several, and they're quick to point out that they are now seeing the results of that. She's had some of the highest fundraising numbers overnight that she's seen so far in her campaign. But, George, this is also just one night, and there are still 11 more debates to come, and that is something that Joe Biden's campaign is quick to point out. Look, they're, they're doing a little bit of cleanup th this morning. They say they knew these attacks were going to come. They knew that Joe Biden was going to be the center of a lot of the attention last night, and they say it was his strategy to simply speak directly to the American people. But there's no question, the vice president had a rough night, George. No question about that. And meantime, uh, John, uh, the president, true to form, even though he's overseas, tweeting uh, about the debate overnight. And the Republicans really do see an opportunity over the both nights of debates on health care. And last night, that moment on immigration where all the Democrats said they were for giving health care to undocumented immigrants. All 10 on the stage raised their hand for that, George, uh, providing health coverage to undocumented immigrants. That goes further than Barack Obama went because there was no health care coverage for undocumented immigrants under Obamacare. Uh, another one was the idea of eliminating private insurance endorsed by several of the candidates. There are more than a, well over 100 million Americans who have private health insurance, many of whom like that coverage. Uh, that will be something that, that Republicans will uh, seek to exploit. Battle lines are drawn. John Carl, Mary Bruce, thanks very much. And all of you at home can go to our website, abcnews.com, to learn more about all the candidates in the race for the Democratic nomination.